very much, Matt. Time is 8.23. So every once in a while on breakfast, we're lucky enough to introduce you to some people who've achieved some pretty amazing things. Dada 2, Jason Liversidge, is definitely one of those. He certainly is, and we've been following him on breakfast for some time. So he has motor neuron disease and needs 24-hour care. And earlier this week, Jason attempted to reach the top of Mount Snowden. Graham Satchell was with him. The top of Snowdon is three and a half thousand feet above sea level, a challenge if you're fit and able. Jason Liversidge is attempting it in a wheelchair. I think originally it was one of those ideas that was a good idea at the time. The further we get, the more excited I get to get to the top. Jason has motor neurone disease. He's here with his wife Liz and a team of helpers, but this is difficult terrain. They will use ramps and muscle and willpower. Jason is um, determined and very tenacious and, uh, and he's got this zest for life and, um, you know, I really admire that and obviously we're fully behind him and want to support him to keep going as long as he can. The illness has slowly taken Jason's ability to walk and talk but not his determination. On one hand, um, it's not brilliant, but on the other hand, it's prob probably one of the best times of my life. Jason was diagnosed three and a half years ago. He's gone from being fit and active to needing 24-hour care. Jason and Liz have two daughters, Lily and Poppy. He's got a lot to live for. We've got two little girls who are four and five, and, you know, Jason would love to see them grow up. It's probably not realistic, but he wants to spend every day with them for as long as he can. More than four hours into the climb, this has become a battle with the mountain, an inch-by-inch push-and-pull struggle of wills. Jason is climbing partly to raise money for two charities, Marie Curie and Dove House Hospice, but also to create memories for his two daughters. Jason's speech is already deteriorating and he'll eventually rely on a synthesised, computer-generated voice. But to make sure his children still recognise him, he recorded hundreds of his own words so his computerised voice will sound like him. This is the first time I have heard my new voice. That's pretty good. <laughs> that, that is, yeah. Back on the mountain, the batteries are starting to run out on Jason's wheelchair, so it's a mad dash to the top. But finally, after more than eight hours, they've done it. Absolutely amazing. What an achievement to get to the top. You know, it's an achievement for all of us, and we're perfectly able-bodied, but for Jason, it's a huge achievement. What do you think? <laughs> Amazing. Jason's next challenge, he plans to abseil from the Humber Bridge. But this is a moment to stop, to remember, to take in the awesome beauty. Graham Satchel, BBC News, at the top of Mount Snowden. I didn't want to interrupt that view. Uh, amazing achievement, isn't it? Just uh, for, well anyone, done, for anyone to do that. It's fantastic. And he's managed to raise thousands of pounds for charity as well. It's time